Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Sheena with Crooked Calligraphy. So today I am going to share my experience of going from calligraphy zero to opening my calligraphy business in just two months. And I'm going to share the three steps that I recommend for getting good at calligraphy quickly. So if you wanna learn all about that, stick around. So one of the questions I get asked most frequently is, how did I actually get good at calligraphy? Um, I went pretty quickly from knowing nothing about pointed pen calligraphy to opening my business and starting to make money. Um, and a lot of people want to know how I did that. So I got a lot of questions from you guys um, just through Instagram and sort of my YouTube followers. So I wanted to give you my three steps for getting good at calligraphy quickly. Um, and I also wanted to talk about my own experience and I'll sprinkle some of your questions and answer those along the way. First question I wanna address is, how in the world did you learn to do this? Were you already an artist or have you always been artistic? Guys, no, I was not an artist. I was a corporate lawyer. So before I found calligraphy. I was working at a big law firm on like securities, mergers and acquisitions, contracts, like board of directors stuff, completely the opposite from artist. Now I had creativity inside of me and I see that now and I expressed it in sort of different ways. I even tried some lettering stuff because I had always been drawn to handwriting. So I tried just sort of like tracing things and copying things I saw online. I wasn't very good. I didn't know what calligraphy was, but the key thing is I did not think I was an artist at all. I was very uncomfortable calling myself an artist. It took me years to even feel comfortable calling myself an artist. So no, I don't think that I had like some special magical natural talent or whatever that helped me get good at calligraphy. Um, I had an interest in handwriting. I wanted to learn it. I had done some of that sort of just growing up, like doodling in my notebook and stuff, but that's kind of all I had. So question number two that I got from a lot of people is, do you think it's possible to be completely self-taught or do you need the help of a class or you know some formal calligraphy training? I think it's possible to learn on your own, but I think it's gonna take you a lot of time and resources and experimenting and maybe buying some wrong tools and frankly gumption to get through it all on your own. And I only say this because, not because I teach calligraphy now, um, I, I do see this with my students, but I can say this because I experienced it myself. So when I first wanted to learn calligraphy, I had quit my corporate law job, I was exploring creative paths, I knew I wanted to do something with hand lettering and lettering because I was always drawn to it, so I wanted to learn calligraphy, I Googled whatever I could find. Um, I bought the first calligraphy pen that I saw on Amazon. I was super excited. I spent like a chunk of money. You know, I was unemployed. So I spent some money on it. Really excited, sort of had whatever paper, notebook I had lying around. I tried that pen. And guys, it was so disappointing. It was nothing like I wanted it to look. It wasn't even the type of calligraphy that I wanted. Turns out it was it was a calligraphy pen. It was just for the completely wrong kind of calligraphy that I wanted to do. So I did this a few times, guys. I bought brush pens. I bought different kinds of nibs. I tried teaching myself and I spent a lot of money just not getting it right. So that's how I know that getting formal training is really the fast track way to get good at calligraphy is because as soon as I got formal training, things just took off. So here's what happened. I was dabbling around with all that calligraphy nonsense and doing the wrong stuff for months, like four or five months. I gave up on it because it just wasn't working out for me. And then I saw um, a calligraphy workshop advertised on Instagram, or maybe it was just a post. I took that calligraphy workshop. It was with Angelique Inc. in November, 2015. So November 7th, 2015, I took my first beginner calligraphy workshop. I had never touched an oblique calligraphy pen before then, but I went in and everything was laid out for me, right? Like the right tools, the right ink, the right paper. I had no idea about any of that. I walked out of that class with enough fundamentals and technique, sort of the right technique and confidence to keep going with it. So one month later, I took an intermediate calligraphy workshop because I wanted to learn even more and I wanted to troubleshoot some. And, and then 
a month later, less than a month later, I had opened my Etsy shop and was selling greeting cards with my calligraphy on them. So that was my path. And I just saw myself trying to learn it on my own and struggling for four or five months and then getting into the right calligraphy teacher's space and program and just skyrocketing. Do you see what I mean? Like everything I learned in that like first just hour, months of research, I couldn't have found out for myself. So that's where I see the value in formal calligraphy training. Whatever that means for you, whatever falls, you know, fits under your lifestyle and interest and budget, whether that's an in-person workshop or, um, I don't know, a class at a local community college or a, you know, affordable online class that you can find, whatever it is, find someone to teach you the fundamentals. That's actually my step number one for getting good at calligraphy quickly is learn the fundamentals, the right tools, the right techniques. You got to get that stuff down or else nothing else is going to look right. Um, and one of the questions, another question I got from you guys is how do you know if the pen or the ink isn't working for you? Um, that's one of those things that it's really hard to know. I mean, you can know that something's not looking right, right? <laughs> you can use your clicker V pen and like, oh, that's not looking at all like I thought it would. But it's so, so hard to diagnose for yourself. Is it the nib? Is it the holder? Is it the ink? Is it the paper? Is it your grip? Is it the angle of the nib to the paper? Is it the way you're pressing? So many things could be wrong. It's really hard. That's the kind of the thing that's really hard to sort of research on your own. So that's my step number one is learn the fundamentals. Get that somewhere. Get that guidance. Otherwise, you're going to be mucking around for months. Okay. Step number two for how to get good at calligraphy quickly is practice efficiently. So one of you asked, how much did I practice in the beginning? Was it you know, a dedicated practice time or did I just fit it in? So I was in kind of a unique situation because I was unemployed. <laughs> I quit my corporate law job and I was super into calligraphy after taking my first workshop. So I practiced for at least an hour a day and I was really in there. But this is how I was really able to get good so quickly. Because I think other people could practice for an hour a day and not really improve their calligraphy. Here's what I did. I really practiced efficiently. So I, first of all, had the fundamentals and the basics down because I took a calligraphy workshop from a teacher, right? But when I practiced, I stopped a lot. I noticed, okay, what's looking off here? Is my ink pooling in certain places? Is, are my letters looking wonky in other places? Are my lines shaky? And I would try to figure out why that was happening. So that's my step number two is practice efficiently. Don't just practice. Don't just sit there and like do the same wrong thing over and over and over again, um, or you know, just hope it's gonna work itself out. Um, all you're doing, if you're doing that, is just learning the wrong bad habits. It's like learning how to hold the pen the wrong way and you're getting just deeper and deeper into that bad habit. So instead of doing that and just sort of mindlessly copying, which I see a lot of my students doing, stop frequently, look at your work, circle the areas that could be improved, and then think about, okay, how could I actually make that better? How can I make that ink pool less? Maybe I need to press less hard. Maybe I need to dip differently into my ink and get less ink on my nib. Um, maybe I need to switch up the ink and the paper. Critique and troubleshoot along the way, and that will make your calligraphy improve so much faster. So really my step number two is find a resource that'll help you troubleshoot. I don't know if that's YouTube videos or a blog that's really, really good or a membership or an online course, something that will help you to actually solve your problems as you're writing so that you actually improve past them and don't get bogged down in them. Okay, so practice efficiently. Don't just practice for hours with no really plan to get better. And step number three, stay inspired. So I know that sounds like kind of a hokey step, but it's actually the most important thing underlying all of this. If calligraphy doesn't stay fun and inspiring for you, why are you going to keep doing it? And are you going to? It's kind of like exercise. I do not like running and jogging. I mean, I know it's good for me, but just it's not fun. So I don't do it. 
no matter how much I tell myself, no matter how much I set my running shoes by the door, no matter how much I buy little Fitbits for myself, it's not fun. I don't do it. So you got to keep your calligraphy practice fun. So you got to practice efficiently, but still practice in a way that's fun for you. So if you have found a teacher or a resource that tells you to write just like five pages of uh, circles or ovals, you know, to improve, and that just sounds like, oh, the most boring thing in the world to you, you're probably not going to do it. So find a way to practice where you can still critique and troubleshoot yourself, but that keeps the fun in there for you. I don't know if that's writing curse words like I did or inspiring quotes or things off the TV. Find a teacher, a resource, something, an Instagram account that keeps you inspired and having fun with calligraphy. That's the only way you're going to stick with it and actually practice efficiently and actually get those fundamentals deep into your bones. And that's the way that you actually get good at calligraphy. So those are my tips on how to get good at calligraphy quickly, just based on what I did myself. It's learn the fundamentals properly, find a teacher that will give you those really the correct basics so you're not going off in the wrong direction at the very beginning. Number two, practice efficiently. Don't just practice for hours doing the wrong thing. Critique and troubleshoot and find a resource that will help you to do that. And step three, follow the fun, stay inspired, make sure that calligraphy is something that you're going to stick with in the long run, because that's really how you get good at calligraphy. All right, guys, I hope that that information helped you. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Crooked Calligraphy, so we can continue the conversation. I'm always asking my audience what they would like to hear um, about from me next, so make sure you join in the conversation there. All right, until next time.